Action News, always taking action for you. We'll begin tonight with a tragedy on Cass Lake. A father goes under and never comes back up as he's cooling off in the water with his family. Chopper 7 over the scene off the shores of Dodge Park in Waterford Township as divers searched for the man. 7 Action News reporter Julie Bonovich is live along uh, Cass Lake tonight. Do we know how this happened yet, Julie? Stephen, it's difficult to say. The sheriff's department only speculating tonight, and there were so many people out here just trying to have fun and get out of the heat, and the family said that that father was a strong swimmer. Divers searched Cass Lake for two hours this evening after a family lost sight of their father in the water. I just heard people screaming and yelling for the guy to come in. Edward Lesser says other people at the state park were worried about the 59-year-old Pontiac man because he was out so far. The water starts out waist high and can get deeper quickly. I heard his family say that he was a good swimmer and he was fine. But something went wrong. He swam out farther away from the rest of his family and the son that he was playing with when he went under the water. The family stayed close to the search the entire time. Um, he obviously got in distress and, and went under and couldn't get himself out. Oakland County Sheriff Michael Bouchard says divers found the father's body about 100 yards offshore near a drop-off where it's over 20 feet deep. Very hot day. Even if you're in the water, you can be dehydrated. And if suddenly you find you're at that drop-off and you're swimming to get off of it and back to solid footing, you expend your energy very, very fast. The family had been in an area of the park where people frequently swim and barbecue. Officials not releasing that father's name tonight, and the sheriff tells me that this is the third drowning that they have had this year, the second this summer. Live from Castle Lake, Julie Bonovich, 7 Action News. People have to be so careful, Julie. Thank you for that live report tonight. Now, as Sheriff Bouchard mentioned in Julie's piece there, it is possible to become dehydrated even in the water, so it's important to watch out for the warning signs. They include thirst, dry mouth, dizziness, and fatigue. Be sure to drink water and take breaks every few minutes.